Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Campbell Chronicles and yes we made it we finally made it to Orlando Florida here we are at our first day at Universal Studios Orlando Alright, we made it in the gates. First day at the park here at Universal Studios Orlando. This is my first time in over 13 years. This is first going to be Universal Studios Orlando, and then we're going to hit up at Island Adventure tomorrow. Now, I know this stuff has been on YouTube for a while, but this is our family's adventure. First, we're going to go hit up some rides here. We're really just playing this by ear. I know there's probably a way to do it, just like there's a way to do Disney, or people have their different quirks and their different methods of getting things done. This is our first time in over 13 years, so we're just gonna go for it. All right, I think the consensus has been made. We're headed back towards uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Gringotts, Escape from Gringotts, is only about a 15 minute wait right now. So that's where we're headed. switched over the phone because they don't allow the big cameras on the ride but we are here in line for green guts I, I was just telling Laurel the best thing about this is I have no idea what to expect just because I, I'm not one that goes on YouTube and watches the rides especially if I know I'm gonna experience it one day so I just wanted to experience it firsthand see what's like for myself hey, Laurel are you ready for green guts yes. Oh, yeah Jackson are you ready for green guts yes what are you expecting it to be like? Find the Sorcerer's Stone and be in a minecart, I guess. Uh, all I know about this ride, my sister says it's very realistic and it was one of her favorites, so I'm excited for it. All right, long story short, we had to get out of line, but we're back in, ready to go on Green Guts. We'll explain what happened. It was a doozy. We'll explain what happened once we get back off the ride. All right, so now we're here at Leaky Cauldron. We are, man, what a story, what a rush. We had to, we're right about to get on the Escape from Greengrass ride, and Jackson's nose started bleeding out of nowhere. Just, it started coming down. It was pretty, pretty bad. So we had to rush out of line, get over to a, uh, to a bathroom, the closest one we could find, and it was 15 minutes of just gushing. Anyways, what a story, but huge shout out to Liz from Guest Services. Big help to us, I was able to help uh, replace some of Jackson's clothes that just turned all bloody. But anyways, long story short, Green Gods was awesome. More than I ever expected it to be. Just, I don't know, if you know, you know. If you've been on it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That was just a fun ride. But Liz was able to take us back over there, get us to the front of the ride, so I wasn't able to grab a camera or nothing. I just had to get on the ride, but that's okay. So now we're here at Leaky Cauldron eating our food. I tried the vegetables on the plate. They're really good. The tomato had like this garlic tomato um, it was just, I, I don't know how else to explain it. it was very well seasoned, very good. I have a little bit of uh, bangers and mash that I got. So this bangers and mash, it has a little bit of sauerkraut on it. I'll try to get that. A little bit of sauerkraut on it, but it looks really, really good. Let's give it a shot here. Honestly, it could use maybe a little salt, but otherwise, it's actually really good. And I'm okay with them not over salting things and let the customer, let the guests do that. Jackson went ahead and ordered the fish and chips from the adult menu. Laurel ordered the fish and chips from the kids menu. And Emily got the chicken specialty sandwich from the adult menu as well. So Jackson, how'd you like your fish and chips? It was so good. If you like butter, if you like fish, if you like crunchiness, one. <laughs> How's your nose doing, son? It's just a little bit better, but I'm, I'm worried if uh, if I go on some roller coasters, it might loosen up my nose, so it might come back out. <laughs> it should be okay. All right, Laurel, how was your fish and chips? It's really good, but there was one accident. Um, so, but they put grapes on it, and then this one ended up in ketchup, so I can't eat it. Oh, oh you can yeah. eat it? Child problems. Emily, how was your uh, specialty chicken sandwich? Specialty chicken sandwich. Um, the bacon's really good on it. The sauce they have is really good. I feel like I didn't get much in the front of my sandwich, um, but overall, just a solid choice. I, nothing, you know, outstanding, but just a really good choice. So yeah, Leaky Cauldron, definitely gonna recommend this one. Nice and air conditioned. You're out of the heat, out of the sun. It's 
it's nice. And of course, you got the ambiance all around. It's just very Harry Potter. We love it. So definitely going to come here again. And this place looks like um, the lunchroom in the Harry Potter movie. I will say this pumpkin juice is amazing. I would get this every single time I come. It's been a few years since we were in Universal in California and I loved the frozen butter beer over there, but I will say just from memory, this is so much better than the butter beer. So yeah, just had a leaky cauldron and yes, I will say it was a very good, definitely a place that I really liked just because it was different than your normal theme park type food. So that's a place I will try again in the future. Laurel has been saving up her penny. She wants to get one of the wands that interacts with things around the Harry Potter world. So that's where we're at. We're in line for Oral of Anders. Let's go check it out. I am the wand. Yeah, I'm sorry, what is your name? Oh, no two of band wands are the same. Uh, just as no two uniforms, uh, dragons, or thieves, as are really quite the same. Flip and say, Wingardium Leviosa. Yes, and we have... Oh, yeah. Well, that is definitely not your wand, yes. Now, off you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please feel free to view our entire selection of <laughs> Hi. Um, I just picked out my wand Funny, based right? on my personality. And this one was Birch. Birch. And what were my personalities? Alright guys, so here's Hermione. Here you go, Lowe's. She has a very pretty wand. Do you like this one? You want this one? I kind of figured that. Here you go, sweetie. So I gotta say, I did actually really like Ollivander's. It's really cool, the massive amounts of wands. Really cool to see the magic work in the shop there. Uh, the kids both picked out a wand. They're both using their home money. They wanted to eat it, that's fine with me. So $60 for a wand and you can take it around here. We're gonna try, try out some of these uh, spells that you can cast throughout the park, throughout the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at least. We're gonna try it out and see if we can make some stuff move or something. some butter beer while you're in the uh, Harry Potter world, but I was told to try the frozen butter beer this time, and yeah, it looks amazing. Oh yeah, that frozen butter beer. Holy cow, I've been missing out my entire life on this frozen butter beer. Mm. Yeah, I need to make that at home, absolutely. We also have to try the butter beer ice cream now. This also looks very good, and it's so hot out here. We need these things. It's easily justifiable, so. I've been missing out on that in my entire life too. I don't know what to say. That is amazing ice cream. All right, headed over to Men in Black now. Wizarding World of Harry Potter was very fun, but I am glad that they uh, have free lockers, but I didn't think that this would be one that you would need a locker on, but hey, that's what they say. So let's go see who gets the highest score in Men in Black.
in this box with no coffee and I'm eating the buttons. Pay no attention to the worm behind the curtain. Alright, that was pretty fun. Unexpected. I don't I I have done that before, but it's been so long. I just forgot. But a lot of fun nonetheless. Hi guys, now we're gonna watch the Born Stacular. I I forgot what it's called. Stuntacular. That's what it's called. It's a live stunt show. Just got out of Born Stunt Spectacular, or Stunt Stacular, and I gotta say, I was thoroughly impressed, but I do sincerely apologize. No filming or recording in there, absolutely whatsoever. So I do apologize, but I will say this, you've gotta go see that one for yourself. That was an amazing show. I just, the technology they use and everything, no spoilers, just go see it, you're gonna love it. From here, what we're gonna do is go over to Transformers and get on that one. And then uh, from there, I think we're gonna go see the animal show, the uh, animal actor show, that will be pretty fun. So as I'm sitting here in line for Transformers, it was my favorite movie for a long time, and just listening to the music, it's just awesome. Now, I am pretty sure this is just a carbon copy of the one they have over in, in uh, Hollywood, but still, just the fact that you know being here, hearing that music, it just gets me all amped because I know it's a good one. Optimus Prime. It is an honor to meet What's you, Earthling. Head to the okay. rest facility for your training. Alright. Cool. We're gonna watch the animal acting show right here. There's probably gonna be a, a dog, a cat, maybe a bird. So the animal show was pretty fun. Uh, a little shorter than I remember, in a different stage too, but that's okay, it was still a lot of fun. We just dropped off Jackson and Emily. They're on the uh, Rip Rock and Roller Coaster here. We also have some weather that's kind of moving through the area here, so hopefully things don't start shutting down on us. Um, but yeah, it's gonna maybe start raining here in a little bit, but that's what you get, we're in Florida, right? <laughs> so we're actually going to the Jimmy Fallon Roller Coaster because it started raining right before Emily and Jackson were able to get on the Rip Rock and Roller Coaster. So, it is it is starting to rain though, and uh, thundering and lightning, you know, doing the Florida thing. So we're heading up here, we're gonna go 
do some uh, Jimmy Fallon roller coaster ride thing, and then we're gonna go get some pizza, I think, for dinner. Jimmy Fallon! Hey, it is time for the race. Boom, New York. You know the course, you know the rules. First one back wins the Tonight Show Cup. Higgins, can you count us down, please? Ready, set, let's go! So I just had to put the camera away again. It was pouring outside right out of Jimmy Fallon's. I have to say, Jimmy Fallon's ride, that was a fun ride. There were so many Easter eggs in there. We're big Jimmy Fallon fans here in this house. We, Emily and I both really like watching Jimmy Fallon. But anyways, that was a really fun ride. That was a really cool experience. We had to book it over because it was pouring. We're over here at Louie's now. We're trying out their pizza. We got a pepperoni pizza, a whole pie. It's about $43. We also did get the souvenir cups. Tip on that one. The more you buy, the more of a discount you get. Over three, I think they're like only 11 or 12 bucks. So it's really actually kind of affordable. You bring them back tomorrow and you can renew them. They're just these plastic ones here. They're pretty pretty straightforward, really easy to use. And any freestyle machine. So I got my orange vanilla that I love. But uh, yeah, I'm on vacation. I'm gonna have some soda. Now that it's not so hot outside. The nice thing about the freestyle machines is there's more than just soda. So if you want a lemonade or if you want something that feels a little lighter, that's what I like about it. So anyways, let's give this pepperoni pizza a shot. And yeah, they've already dug in quite a bit. Jackson, good? So good. Really, you like it? Yeah, especially the breadstick. Oh, the, the crust at the end? Yeah, that's good. Definitely piping hot. Had to wait quite a while for it to cool down, but it is a, it's a good Italian pie. Yeah, you can definitely tell they're making them fresh. I went up there and ordered it, a large pie. And five minutes later, it was ready. They're just they're just pumping them out. They're cranking them. So a large piping hot pizza. That's good. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and sign off today. That pizza was really good. It was definitely that New York style flavor. Uh, not the best pizza I've ever had, but it's definitely kind of better than Disney World's. That's okay. It, it was really good pizza. I enjoyed it. But we are gonna sign off today. My favorite thing so far today. This is just day one. Day one of like seven for us but it was honestly just the new experiences. You guys know how much I like the new experiences, feeling everything new, and it just makes the day seem longer, and I like that. I like feeling like we get our value, our money's worth by staying longer, so having new experiences was really awesome. My favorite thing is the rides and the wand, swishing, talking, moving things, lining things, stuff. My favorite thing was Harry Potter World. I my favorite part was definitely the Green Gods Bank ride and pumpkin juice. Highlight of the day. There you have it. I think Harry Potter World, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, was definitely a success for everybody in the family. We all touched on that a little bit. I love the wand thing. It's just in the heat of the sun, Laurel is right. They don't really work. The sun reflects off the sensors and it can be a little tricky. That's okay. We still had a lot of fun doing it. We're signing off today. Guys, before you go, hit that like button and subscribe. If you found anything of value today, definitely subscribe for channel. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you real soon. And remember, adventure is out there. So don't forget to like, Let me show you a place where you